Hello beautiful Capricorns, we're here with your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Capricorn, I highly recommend you watch your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So, let's look and see what's happening for beautiful Capricorns in love. What is going on for Capricorn in love? What is the energy? There we go. Oh, Capricorn, you feel as though you had to leave something behind. You had to leave turbulent times behind. You feel a little bit alone or a lot alone. You feel as though you're seeking your truth. This is Aquarius energy. We have a new moon in Aquarius today. So Capricorn, how do you feel currently? Well, you're, you know, Capricorn, you're very practical. You're working on yourself. You're focused on yourself for now. You feel as though you need to increase your skill set in some way. In regards to love, it could be career also. Look at this, Six of Wands. How you view the situation is that you have had a success. So it looks like you feel successful in moving away from someone or some uh, something. You feel very much in love at this time. Very much the Ace of Cups energy. So that is how you view yourself, you know, in love loving open to love open to new love what's in your heart space Ooh, we have the king of cups so you're feeling very loving towards somebody it looks like a new relationship it looks as though for most of you you've moved away from the pain you've done the healing work of a past relationship this is actually the card of working on yourself and now you feel successful yay capricorn okay so what is, how is it that you see yourself moving forward? Oh, look at this. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups are next to each other. Capricorn. This is almost an unusual energy for you. It's so emotional. Look at this Knight of Pentacles slowly moving forward. Spirit says that you need to address some old wounds. The advice from Spirit is to make sure that you remember that although three cups are tipped over, that two cups remain standing. So there's a lot to look forward to. Spirit is giving you that sort of uh, reminder call, so to speak. Like at the hotel, when you don't just get one wake-up call, you get two. So we see Spirit really reminding you to stay focused. So we have you very invested in a new relationship or what appears to be new. When we get the King and Queen of Cups, we have Cancerian Scorpio energy. We have Aquarius energy. We have Virgo energy. We have Leo. The Ace of Cups is all water sign. It's all, look at this, is all water. You're really in your heart space right now, Capricorn. This is Virgo energy, which is very practical. And then we have Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy. So it does show that you're keeping your emotions in check a little bit. You're not, you feel a great amount of love, but you're not speaking about it. The way you view the situation, though, is that there's a lot of love between you and a person. Look at this, Leo energy. The infinity symbol on her arm speaks to the outcome as being something that you see as being a relationship that would really withstand the challenges of time. And I have cards falling out all over. Hold on. All right, so these are going to be clarifiers. So I get that in the past, the clarifying a card to the Six of Swords is that you left something behind that was constant conflict. It didn't have a strong foundation. You don't want to feel defensive anymore. That's not the energy you're willing to be in, Seven of Wands. You prefer the Six of Wands, the energy of victory. We see the Sun card reverse, but even in the reversal, we see a card that is all about happiness. So even though you're happy right now, you feel as though you still there's still more room to go towards happiness. We look at you in this situation of how you feel in love. This person that you love is very, it's a Libra energy, the Libra, the Libra energy of balance. You feel as though this person's very passionate, very fiery, lots of fun. They're very smart, that you like how they operate. They create a magic, even though they don't talk about the way that they 
they don't tell you that they love you so much. They show you because that's the Aries queen. The air, the ace of wands, this beautiful energy of a fiery new beginning at this time in your life, Capricorn. You are willing to work on this relationship. You want to take it slowly. The hidden energy is that you're moving on foot rather than on horse to the the king of pentacles that is the energy of everything that you value this person is very much a person that you see would be loyal that you could build something with that you have great passion with we see this king sitting in a red library red is for passion red is very fiery it's the aries queen manifesting what she wants in her second house of everything she values it's also wanting financial security and making sure that your love interest is on the same page with you about how money is spent, how resources are allocated. That is a very big priority for you. Anybody who does not meet that priority is someone that you can't invest with emotionally. So what do we have here for the Five of Cups clarifier? Why is Spirit telling you to stay optimistic? Ah, because that way you can manifest and, and manifest you have look at your outcome card wow the nine of cups that is the fairy godfather fairy godmother card of the you know of the i was going to say the zodiac but of the tarot and it is piscean energy you manifest great happiness by being stable by being open to your emotions by taking things slowly by opening your heart by recognizing that something without a foundation is not for you and that you you just want to be happy and you want energy to flow very naturally through the relationship i love the energy for you so let's look and see now how you feel this partnership will well we have that we don't even have to do that there's no clarification needed your outcome is nine of cups let's just see what your person is thinking they're kind of their thoughts feelings and intentions in terms of the energy they're bringing so to the past what is your person's past energy what is their history your person's history what is their history Okay, they feel as though they are looking for a soulmate. That's the energy they bring into the relationship. Somebody who's grounded, though, that is that is all about making a choice to be very grounded. It's soulmate energy, manifesting each other. You are manifesting each other. The death card, your person also went through a relationship that has ended. They have had the, the pain of having to rebuild their life also. They're very much in the energy of, ah, beautiful. Their energy is the King of Pentacles. This is a person who has really elevated themselves. This is Taurus energy. They know what they want. They're manifesting it. They're willing to work for it. And they want their soulmate. So that's the energy they're bringing in. So let's see how they view this situation as it stands or what they think about things. What do they think? What are they thinking about you? What are they thinking about Four of Wands? They see you as marriage material. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> and they do. It's interesting because they think in the past they're, they're feeling as though they weren't willing to settle down in the past. I get that they're still coming in with this energy of kind of wait and see. I think Capricorn could be marriage material, but I'm not going to count on it yet. I'm going to see how this plays out. This still does indicate that your person could be, oh, I was going to say open to other people, but no. This person is Sagittarius energy. So we see this person as normally being someone who could date multiple people, but with you, no, they have stopped that. So normally they use Sagittarius energy when they date somebody. Uh, and, and we see this because they see you as a marriage prospect. They have, they're hanging out there doing Cirque du Soleil in the living room, feeling really good, looking at you from a different perspective. You are a different person to them, Capricorn. Look at this energy. They're watching you on the internet and they like what they see. They feel like you are a person that they can invest in. 
So that is, that's how they view you as a person that they can invest in, that you are open to love, that you're very balanced. Okay, let's see. We have, oh, beautiful. The temperance card really speaks to the fact that they want to make things work with you. All the fire, the water, the earth sign. You have a really good balance of energy here. We get, they have released the pain and the aches of their past. They have healed fully. They're able to love. They view this as a passionate new uh, relationship or old relationship. It doesn't matter. Um, but they view you as a person with whom they'd like to invest. And they've released their, they don't, they don't appear to have too much in the way of baggage coming in here. They seem to have left that all behind far from long long ago so they really see themselves releasing their guardedness releasing this sort of holding back energy and undecided energy they take the leap of faith into loving you they take that leap that is gorgeous okay so why do we see this person being very dedicated to a slow process knight of pentacles Balanced. Just stay balanced. Okay. Good enough, right? Fair enough. What do we have here for the King of Wands? Ah! <laughs> Your person probably has some fire in their chart. We have uh, Leo energy. We have Sagittarius energy. Okay. What else? What else do they want for stability? Because the Leo King is a... Leo and Taurus are fixed energies. So they're very stable energies. And it looks like both of you are bringing stable energy into the relationship, okay? The, uh, you know, the Scorpio King, fixed energy. The Strength card, fixed energy, gives stability. Why is the Five of Cups card here for advice from Spirit for your person? Eight of Wands, Spirit is saying, let go of emotions, go for the passion, manifest what you want. What is this person manifesting with you? Ooh, <gasps> equal give and take. Somebody who comes to the table ready to invest. Somebody who's very nurturing. Somebody who's very discreet. They see you as a person who is very knowledgeable, that you have a very high level of spiritual vibration, that you're a person who is very discerning. You have good discretion that you keep to yourself, that you're a very private person. They also feel as though you may be a little bit better than them, but this person has a lot of confidence. And they feel as though one person is not necessarily better than another person, but they hold you in high regard and look at this. They want to invest. They want to go from being a single successful person into being a very married successful person on the same page mirror souls energy marriage uh, energy to infinity look at this need i say more capricorn beautiful reading for you sending you love from chicago send some back please comment like share subscribe thank you